Hi, and welcome back. Today, I feel like playing something that normally I would not play in a concert. And I've chosen this music simply because it's been a tough year for all of us. And I feel need for some peace and quiet. I want to relax. I want to meditate. I want to think of sun and summer and ocean breeze lazy times with family and friends, all those things that will happen eventually and hopefully sooner than later. And somehow this music just takes me there. I'm Sonia, this is from my piano room. The work that you're hearing right now is one of three short pieces. It's called Gymnopédie by a French composer, Eric Satie. Satie was a French composer of late 19th, early 20th century. He was a contemporary of Debussy, uh, perhaps he was even a couple of years older than Debussy. His music, though, is a completely different story. His music was an entire generation ahead of its time, more in line with composers who came a quarter of a century later, like Anaguerre and Millot. Debussy, who was his friend, Debussy, uh, called him the precursor and musicologist later called him the impersonator of the new spirit. They also called him an iconoclast. And he was all those things. When you think of the composers who we love, who we still remember centuries after their lives, none of them are really famous for adhering to the norms exactly. They're the ones who broke the rules. They are the ones who pushed the limits beyond of what was acceptable at their times. And it brought the music that's more enriched, more complex, more intense, but at the same time, especially at first, it was more challenging for the audiences and for the fellow musicians alike. On this channel, for example, I have a video of Prokofiev's sarcasms. Please check it out if you're curious to see what happens when composer plays with the boundaries of the tonality. <laughs> the paradox of Satie. His rebellion against the norms somehow led to the music that is less challenging to hear, the music that is calm, that is peaceful. In the music of Satie, in general, you won't hear much of thematic development. There are no climaxes. He doesn't take you on emotional roller coaster of intensity. The repetitive melodies, the repetitive motives, they come and go and they come back again, varying ever so slightly, just enough to lure your attention, but never to interrupt the lulling hypnosis of his harmonies. His music is very comfortable being on the background. Among his compositions are several sets written for a variety of chamber music ensembles that's called furniture music. In fact, uh, Satie coined that term. And it helps when you think of Satie's music in general as being like a furniture in an elegant home. Essential. Nevertheless, it's not the center of the scene. It's a setting, but it's not the scene itself. Mm -hmm. 
Satie's journey as a musician is also very different from other musical figures. He was never a child prodigy. He was expelled from Paris Conservatory pre-college at age 16 for uh, being the laziest student. And later he was readmitted to the conservatory at age 19. And this time he stuck around, he finished the conservatory. And according to his friends, he only did it to avoid the army. And he was still considered worthless by all his teachers. His compositions are not difficult to play. Musicologists may argue that his style was predetermined by technical limitations of his piano playing, but I kind of tend to think that his search for minimalism somehow resulted in his reluctance to learn. It's like as if he subconsciously was rejecting everything that was irrelevant to his aesthetic pursuit. While planning this video, I've been playing his three Gino Fili and his six Lucien a lot. And I must say it was a soul cleansing experience for me. Playing a musical instrument, learning a musical instrument is a difficult skill. And very often we tend to forget that skill is not the goal. You can create an atmosphere by using minimal means, which are just as powerful. In this video, I'm sharing the first Gymnopili and the first Nyo Sien, and I found them very relaxing while playing them for you, and I hope that you find them relaxing to listen. To hear the complete set of three Chimno Pidi and six Nyo Sien, consider joining my Patreon community, it's all uploaded up there, and I would like to take this moment to thank my first supporters on Patreon. This video is the first one that's supported by you and your help means a lot to me. Thank you, Susan Ives, John Chapman, Eleanor Tolls, Alberta Lipson, and thank you sponsors who prefer to stay anonymous. Thank you for supporting from my piano room and classical music. Stay safe and happy spring everyone! Mm -hmm.